Necessary tools, rubber mallet, snap ring pliers, straight punch, 90 degree hook tool, channel lock pliers, 7 8 inch socket, and a flathead screwdriver. To remove the 1480 U-joint from the shaft, the cap and shaft need to be heated to melt the plastic retainer. A butane torch can be used. Excessive heat may cause damage to the drive shaft. Once melted, the plastic will start to run down the U-joint cap and can now be pushed out of the shaft. Rest the U-joint on a vise or block as shown. Carefully strike the drive shaft near the U-joint on the yoke portion of the shaft. Do not hit the shaft. Take channel locks and twist the U-joint cap to remove it. Rotate 180 degrees and repeat to remove the remaining U-joint cap. After the U-joint and caps are removed, you will remove the remaining plastic. A small punch can be inserted into the hole where the plastic is injected to make it easier to remove the remaining plastic. Make sure to clean the shaft of all remaining plastic. Use a Scotch-Brite pad to remove any burrs. Now the drive shaft is cleaned and all the plastic is removed, the 1480-1410 E-Combo U-joint can be installed. Tape the 1410 side of the U-joint using electrical tape or similar to keep the end caps on the joint when installing. Once the caps are flush with the driveshaft yoke, 
the caps will need to be pushed into the yoke until the retainer grooves are visible. A socket or suitable tool can be used to set the depth of the cap. There are two sizes of retainers supplied with the U-joint. Only the larger retainers will be used. If the retainers cannot be installed into the yoke and seated properly, it is possible that a needle bearing has moved and become lodged between the cap and the U-joint.